Hi, hello and welcome back. So, cathodic protection. This basically is a protection of a metal structure from corrosion underwater by making it act as an electrical cathode. What does this mean to us with our Land Rovers? Cathodic protection is a technique used to control the corrosion of a metal surface by making it the cathode of an electrochemical cell. It's a simple method of protection, connects the metal to be protected to a more easily corroded or sacrificial metal to act as the anode. You'll also see this when you get steel and aluminium together. When they're bolted together, there, um, there is an electrical contact, believe it or not, and the aluminium becomes more sacrificial than the steel, even though both will corrode. Basically, galvanization is laying zinc onto metal and the zinc itself is sacrificial. And this is proof because you can see the chassis here. Land Rovers at one time it used to have galvanised cappings and it's a rarity now. I think it was after 1984 that they started using steel with no galvanising on it. It's a pity really for cost cutting because not only is it good rust protection but it also used to make these uh, series vehicles look very handsome. We do go to great lengths to uh, stop corrosion on our vehicles and this bulkhead here is galvanised. We'll have to thank Luke Arnold for this and his sister who photobombed this photograph. As we can see again, Luke's bulkhead, which has been fully galvanised. This basically is the best cathodic protection that you can get. This should last, what, 20 years? However, it is sacrificial, and this is something to remember. Now, the photo actually shows here that the metal is being treated, or the galvanisation is being treated before it's painted. Now, something that is misunderstood quite often is uh, zinc primers. Now, a zinc primer has, or can have, a high content of zinc in it, like this a tin of spray has. The most effective has about 80% zinc and upwards. But basically, this has to be painted onto a clean metal with no corrosion underneath it. This then acts as an electrical contact and will decay over time, leaving the metal protected. You can also find zinc phosphate primers. This can actually be a cost-effective solution where you're using a zinc primer first of all onto a bare metal, preferably that's one that's been shot blasted, and then painting it with a chassis paint. Now this is what I prefer to do with small parts like this. For painting galvanised parts such as a bulkhead or chassis or any other parts you are required to do, it needs to have a modern tea wash first of all, which you can get from Arkwright Paints. This basically is an etch before you put an etch primer on. This contains phosphoric acid and caution is required when using this solution. I hope the penny has dropped a little bit and you understand that the corrosion between steel and aluminium it is roughly the same thing where the aluminium is being sacrificed. However, you can't use a zinc primer or you can't galvanise aluminium. However, according to some sources, magnesium primers will work. Looking at the chassis here, this was a galvanised chassis and the zinc it has completely gone in this area. As we've already been told, it's sacrificial, so it will corrode first before the metal underneath it. And cleaning it up isn't too bad, so it's done its job and failed. But, however, the chassis is already rotting. It doesn't rot everywhere because it fails at different rates depending on the conditions it's living in. Basically an outrigger here, this has been packed with mud and it looks like it's been packed for a long time, it is also corroded. And here we have a spring hanger which was packed with mud, it must have been packed with mud for a long time, also corroded. Looking here, this is a more exposed part of the vehicle, this still has some protection cover on it. And the cathodic protection here, which where the gearbox mount would have been bolted onto, is still actually quite effective there, and it's hardly disappeared at all. So the moral of the story with this Land Rover is it should really have been looked after a lot better. Or perhaps the owner should have painted the galvanised chassis when he'd rebuilt it. Some of you may have remembered when we first got the chassis, we actually took some of the corrosion off and had a look at the metal underneath. Now, you can clean this sort of stuff off with a wire brush, no problem, but it's very labour intensive. 
But after cleaning some of the surfaces off, I put a coat of Corollas um, rust proofing primer onto it and basically it left it for a year. So what's happened here is that it, because this is a primer that closes and it's not porous, it shouldn't rust at all. However, what we have is some patches of rust coming through, which I'm a bit suspicious because the rust killing properties in this primer are actually pretty good. But on closer inspection, I've noticed that there is no fixing of the primer onto the paintwork. Like the top here, I suspect very much so it's the crap underneath it that's actually let uh, it corrode. I am fairly confident, however, that it is an effective primer. This area was cleaned off and not treated, and you can see the rate of rust. Basically, what we're going to go for is the Corollas primer, which is a rust killing primer, and a rust killing top coat, which is in daft grey. And the daft grey chassis paint, okay, it will look something like this, which is standard, and I, I love this colour because I work for daft. And you can see here by the photographs what sort of chassis paint it actually is. It's effective and it's a lot lighter than black. And it also goes well with orange. Okay, so the paint is from Arkwright Paints. As you can see, they do a two-pack epoxy, anti-corrosive chassis paint, and a 1K, which is a lot cheaper. The advantage here is that you can get it in any colour, or any RAL colour, which means that if you want to do it in bright yellow, or even paint your axles, then this is the ideal paint to use. We paid £77.94 for a 5 litre tin. Obviously you can get it smaller and it'll be cheaper, and that was a free delivery as well, over a certain price. For the best protection, you really want to use Corollas RF16 glass pigment coating along with the Corollas primer. But what we're going to do, we're going to use this chassis paint, which is a full gloss in daft grey. For you guys who are subscribers, we're going to announce a discount code for uh, for you for 10% and this will be announced in the subscriber update this month. We also have a discovery chassis that needs painting and rust busting, so we'll have to consider using the Corollas on this as well.